Good morning, it's Jeff and Wilma at Budrum and I want to show you this bee display that we that we made. Uh, we did a talk, I had to do a talk for um, a group of seniors about five weeks ago and I, I made this little display box here and you can see here where the bees are coming and going. You could probably call this a, a micro hive or a mini hive. It's got one frame with a queen and, a, and the workers and everything that goes on inside of a beehive happens inside here. There's enough room on each side of the frame for the bees to be able to build a bit of comb on the perspex. And I've just recently put this ply on both sides. What I've got is a couple of handles on it and a lid that ties down and, and you've got this um, thing you can just, uh, a vented um, cover you can just push down at night time and then then your bees are all locked in there and you can take it away and do your talk. I'm going to remove this, this cover, this ply cover. Once I remove this ply, you'll see what goes on inside the beehive through the perspex. But it's difficult to uh, show through the perspex clearly what goes on. But the one thing I want to show through the perspex is the bees doing their dance and it's, and we've got a lot of honey coming in at the moment what they're going to do is they're coming in and they're going to show communicate to the other bees in the hive where they found the honey right so I'm just going to remove this and, I'll, and we'll see have a look at that it doesn't take long and you'll see a bee doing it now there's one just there just you, can you zoom in on that one there Wilma and get the right angle so that um, so you can see that they're very close to the entrance as well you, can you see any bees doing their dance woman see that one just there and also is it a, is it clear on the screen so what I'm going to do is remove this uh, perspex and hope I don't get stung and one on this piece here there's I thought there might have been a bit of brood I think there is a bit of brood um, there's honey in some uh, there might be some brood oh yeah yes there is some brood here um, you can see some newly laid eggs in those cells just there you can see the newly laid eggs there I can see one yeah so oh, anyway, yeah, see another one. yeah, up here we've got a small hive beetle. See on the, he's under the glass. He's on the bottom side of the perspex. Yeah, there's a small hive beetle. So that's pretty exciting. As <laughs> anyway, what you don't want to. <laughs> I notice without the perspex, there's still bees dancing. Now, if you can find a bee, Wilma, and just zoom in on it as close as you can possibly get see that one there doing the dance and I think um, can you get a good video of the bee doing the dance big dances no I got a better one earlier yeah but that was through the perspex now what I'm going to do now is that's uh, something I've never noticed before. There's one bee sort of seems to hook on to the bee doing the dance and follows around behind it everywhere it turns. Yeah, yeah, it's, it must be keen to sort of, it must be really keen to find out where the honey is. Now, down here, there's a bit of honey dripped off that, where my finger is, a bit of honey dripped off the perspex onto the table. And look at that bee there. Uh, you want to zoom in on that bee yeah. where my finger is you can zoom right in on it <laughs> that bee cleaning up the honey or yeah. eating the honey yeah, he's getting some helpers there's about three of them there just cleaning up that honey they're going to 
and I store it back in the hive. Now over to the far left, you'll see some bees hanging off each other, uh, like a, a, a bee ladder hanging off each other. Well they do that to produce wax, so they, the bees at the top eat honey, uh, put a lot of honey in their stomach, and then the, the weight of the bees drawing off them, they've got specially designed hooks on their feet, on their legs, so that um, the weight of the bees at the bottom pulling on the top bees produces wax out of their wax glands. And so they can't produce wax unless they've got bees drawing on them. Um, now what I'm going to do is turn it around and I'm just going to take the other side off. Before we put the ply on, this this side uh, was, was the uh, was protected from light for quite a while. So they had a chance to build a lot more on this side. Have a look at that. So you can see the honey there. And I'm looking forward to, I think there's uh, brood. I'm looking forward to taking the perspex off this side. Now these bees n normally aren't real aren't quite bees, they're normally fairly aggressive, they've got a fair bit of attitude but because it's such a weak hive, uh, weak in numbers, they haven't got the bees to be able to sacrifice themselves unless I was a real threat. Look at that. Now there's brood on there, now everything there is to see in a hive except maybe the queen is in here um, you can see how they store the honey at the top of the comb you can see honey here that's uh, being capped and in the process of being capped you can see uh, brood that's uh, sealed uh, we probably can't see any bees chewing their way out because it hasn't been sealed for long enough you can see newly laid eggs, you can see larvae, you can see um, the young larvae grading up to um, capped brood. What I'm going to do with this little micro hive is I'm going to remove the, uh, the frame of brood and put it into another hive that needs a bit of strengthening. Uh, needs a bit of help strengthening it up and I'm going to put a, a frame of foundation in here and there's otherwise it'll get too strong in numbers and it'll want to swarm and that's the last thing I want around here is you know, the bees annoying the neighbours so what I'm going to do is remove the lid I'm just going to remove this lid and yeah yeah now can you zoom in on that? Small hive beetle. Now what happens is, see that's another video, the small hive beetle. I can talk about small hive beetle for 10 or 15 minutes. But what the bees do is the, the, the small hive beetle hide in little hidey places. And the bees prevent them from laying their eggs where they want to lay them. Now I'm going to put this down and see if we can find the queen. Just to talk about the box, the, the box itself, uh, you can see how I've made it. I've got, uh, that's about 80 mil across there. And I've got a piece of wood in here with a slot cut in it so that the frame fits in the slot. You can see the, um, where the frame fits in the slot. And there's enough room to, to get the lid on. And um, down the bottom I've got two screws uh, one each side of the frame so that the frame when I'm, tra when I'm traveling the frame can't go side to side and bang the perspex so that sort of holds the frame in place what I'm going to do now and you can still see the bees happily doing their bee dance so while you're filming a bee dance what I'm going to do is look for the queen It's amazing that they're uh, 
you know, is that they're not trying to get to us, not trying to sting us. See, a lot of the communicating now could be uh, to do with the situation they're in now with a predator. <laughs> I'm not sure. If you want to, well, I mean, just wave the camera, just move the camera over to the edge of the table. Now, even though the frame is over here, about a metre away, the, uh, the perspex is just there, to the, to the right there, there's, with, the, with the bees on it and the brood, these bees still don't know where the, where the hive is. All these bees have returned home with honey and they're looking for their hive. So the bees have got fantastic navigation skills but they can't see their hive. And it'll just take them a little while. If I was to leave the hive where it is now, it'll take them a little while to uh, locate the hive. Even though, you know, it's been a fair while since we uh, removed the hive from where it, uh, where it sits, there's still bees here communicating with each other. Anyway, I better look for this queen. Here's the queen here. Now, can you see where my finger is, woman? Yeah, I can see her. Can you zoom right in on it? Because, uh, look at her. Isn't she beautiful? Mm. Very agile. Yeah. Look at her. Isn't she fantastic? She's a beautiful queen. Yeah. And all these bees are her progeny. So I'm going to put this back where it should be, and you watch all these bees. Look at that. <laughs> uh, happiness came in the form of bees uh, finding their entrance. They don't even go around the back onto the open frame. Yeah, yeah, they just like to go through the entrance exactly where it used to be. If if I was to move this even six inches one way or the other, the bees would come back to where that used to be. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Take this now. Quiet. Yeah. I might just put this in the box. So what I'm going to do is, now I've got the queen in the box with the fresh foam of foundation. I'm just going to shake these bees off behind it and then they'll all go to that frame and then we'll just take off and let them settle. So I'll we'll shake these off. They might get a bit angry with us. I'll just stand that up against it. And then when they settle, I'll, I'll just uh, reattach it. And then, uh, but, you know, we did all that, you haven't been stung, you're, you're not protected. No, oh, no, they haven't been aggressive at all. What I did was I bought this frame inside. You see that bee chewing its way out? Mm. Now this one here, just about chewed its way out. They're all baby um, grubs. Any love? Any yeeks? No, they're all grubs in different size, different stages of growth. So with the aid of a bit of smoke, I managed to get the other uh, side on and uh, got the lid on without killing any bees, maybe two I think. And so the idea now is to put this last side on. Now you can see here the bees have settled nicely. Uh, I just took this uh, side cover off again. And I forgot to mention how beautifully clean the bees keep the floor. So you can see the, the floor of the hive is, you know, you can almost eat your dinner off it. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you later. Bye.